Luis Ortiz shows his age in 10 rounder against Christian Hammer. You're watching Remstar says so. Age may finally be catching up to Luis King Kong Ortiz after a 10 rounder with Christian Hammer. This was a fight that I should have made a prediction video against, um, but I'm sort of glad I didn't. I was sort of expecting Ortiz to get Hammer out within sort of four to six rounds. Um, but the thing is, Christian Hammer, he really sort of stuck in there and kept laboring away. Um, that's taken Luis King Kong Ortiz's record up to 34 fights, 31 wins, one loss and two no contests with 26 coming by a knockout. I literally thought that Luis Ortiz was going to be able to <clears throat> blow Christian Hammer out the water in similar fashion that he did to his sort of countryman, Razman Kaj Razvan Kajanu, about seven, eight months prior. But no, it was actually quite a close fight. Um, Christian Hammer, he kept coming forwards, he showed resilience, and he showed he had a chin. Um, one thing I could say is, I think that the age is really starting to get to Ortiz. If this was the Luis Ortiz of two, three years ago, I think he would have blew him out of the water in spectacular fashion. But one thing we do know is that Luis Ortiz is going to be 40 years old at the end of this month. And he's showing every bit of it. <clears throat> I think the last true version of Luis Ortiz that we saw was Ortiz versus Deontay Wilder uh, for the WBC Championship back in uh, 2018. I believe it was March time, I think. Um, that that was the last good version of Ortiz we've seen. I think Ortiz has been through too many uh, fights now. I think age is starting to get to him. I think the fact that he's probably now involved in that clean boxing profile, um, I think... You know, any sort of drugs that he might have taken before and then cycled out of his system, he doesn't have the opportunity to do that anymore. Um, but as a whole, he did still control the fight. Um, the judges gave him a unanimous decision with the scorecards coming in um, very wide in Ortiz's favour. One judge scored it 99 to 91. Another judge scored it 100 to 90, with the third judge scoring it 99 to 91. Having watched that fight, you know, you might have given Hammer two rounds, three at best, but it would have still been a wide scorecard. Um, <clears throat> what can I say about Christian Hammer? He spent the entire fight trying to throw that right hand. Um, I'm not actually sure why. I think at times, especially in the first maybe five or six rounds, Luis Ortiz, um, he was throwing anything from like maybe 30 to 40 jabs around. Christian Hammer was, he just went in a game plan of trying to get Ortiz out of there. Um, and I think he knew that he was going to be at optimum fitness for maybe four to six rounds. And after that, it would have just been like, try and survive and not get knocked out. Um, you know, just throwing the right hand constantly, 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 not setting anything up, no combinations, no real head movement, no real foot movement. Um, you know, it was a match made in heaven for Ortiz. It's just that Hammer showed grit and resilience. Um, and you could tell that maybe he had been training hard for this fight because he was determined not to get knocked out. After the fight, Luis Ortiz, he called out Wilder. He called out Anthony Joshua. Now, after looking at this fight, I wouldn't be surprised if Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua start putting a package together for Luis Ortiz to go and fight um, AJ because I now think that, you know, Luis Ortiz is probably picking for the likes of AJ Wilder in a rematch should knock him out a lot earlier than he did. Um, you might even see maybe Dillian White that like, stepping up and fighting Ortiz. Don't get it twisted by no um, walk of life. Luis Ortiz is not a pushover. Um, but I do think that Anthony Joshua over the last two or three years might have been avoiding him. But after that performance, you might say that he might be a little bit more interested in giving him a shot. Um, because at the end of the day, Luis Ortiz is still a great name on your record. 
if you can beat him. That being said, maybe Ortiz didn't go up the gears. He might have just been cruising in second gear because he didn't have to. Um, so maybe we may be a little bit naive to sort of count him off um, just off the bat because who knows if Luis Ortiz gets thrown in there with the likes of Wilder, with the likes of Joshua, even a Tyson Fury, you'll probably see him exposing a lot better skills. It came to a point where Luis Ortiz stopped throwing his left hand um, as he's a southpaw and after the fight, uh, one of the judges did ask him, was your hand injured? And he said no. So it could be a case where Luis Ortiz is trying to get back up to full fitness and he was trying to get rounds under his belt and possibly he deliberately didn't knock him out. We don't know. Um, the only people that will understand the game plan is Luis Ortiz and Luis Ortiz's corner. Um, but what would I like to see happen with Luis Ortiz next? Um, sure, I'd like to see him fight AJ. Um, I think it would be a very calculated decision by AJ just because we know Luis Ortiz is definitely sort of over the hill or getting there. AJ had the chance to fight Ortiz when he was about 36 um, and sort of turned that down. So I think it's a bit wrong of AJ to want to fight man now that he's 40 years old um, or he will be by the time they climb in the ring. Um, I would like to see the Wilder rematch. There was a lot of controversy sort of surrounding the Deontay Wilder fight where some people said that the referee gave Deontay Wilder extra time in, I believe, maybe the end of the seventh or the end of the eighth round, where it looked like Wilder could have been out of there. Um, I'd also like to see him fight Dillian White, if Dillian White would actually ever want to go for it. Um, so, yeah, let me let me know your thoughts. Did you watch the fight? Did you think Ortiz is over it? Um, do you think Ortiz can still challenge at the highest level? Um, drop a comment, hit like, hit subscribe, share this video. That's the end of the show because Rem Star says so.